have you guys been in Italy before touring with Counterfeit? Loads, yeah, I've been here, I love Italy. Doing various musical things and various non-musical things, just like holiday. I love it. Which city? Tuscany, I spent a lot of time up in Florence and Siena. Wow. Kind of um, chilling. Good times. Good times. Yeah. Yeah, I spent a lot of time in Venice and spent some time in Rome. Like. I've never been to Italy. Oh, okay. No, the first time was when we played the land. Wow. You've been there. Loved it. Wow. I came here when I was younger, but um, I was really young, so I don't really remember that. So, kind of, the first time. Lots of dust of it. I've been to Naples. Nice Amalfi. Yeah, that's good. That's yeah. good shit. Some good shit down there. <laughs> Which is the best and the oldest part to be on tour? The oldest part is being away from your family. The best part is being, being away your, from your family. Being, <laughs> being, being with your mates, I find. Just going from like city to city, playing yeah, shows. Just hanging out. It's fun. Smashing out shows having... with your mates. Like, it's the funnest thing ever. Not no. having showers is something. It's like good showers. But. <laughs> but Princess Marmot, actually. Yeah. Mama, yeah, yeah. Uh, reading a lot interview of yours, you say that Counterfeit <coughs> give the be their best performing live. So I was wondering, is there a moment that you were like, oh my god, what I've done, I'm not ready, I'm not ready at all? No, there was never a point where I, did, where I didn't think that we were ready. I mean, there was a point where it was like, you have those moments where it's... Um, where everything just works and everything is amazing and everything clicks and it's a moment between yourself and the audience and everyone on stage is like super locked in, you know? So there's always those moments. Those moments keep happening. That's the thing, is those moments just keep on going on. So, yeah. Um, there was never a moment where I didn't think we were ready, though. I knew we were ready, born ready. This is out the record. So tell me about it. How uh, did you feel when you had this into your hand for the first time? It was very cool. It's, it's like weird. Wow. We never, yeah, proud. Never yeah, very, yeah, very proud. It was yeah. nice to you know, hold the CD and the vinyl, physically have it there, you know, our baby as it were. You know, yeah. something we've been working on. So it was good to have it finished and done and you know, we were really pleased to get it out. Um, this tour is the biggest one you did so far and it came immediately after the record release. Did it change something about your, expe your expectation, your emotion? Or? I think it made it easier. I think having the album out made it like <clears throat> less of a battle. It's not like we're going out there now and playing shows where we have to, you know, really like kind of people don't know the songs and it's like it's much harder when it's like that. Now when people know the songs it's much more of like a shared experience and I think in that sense we're having like we're enjoying the shows. We're like we enjoyed the shows before but we're enjoying them in a different way now. You know it's much more of a like a togetherness I think in these shows. Um, yeah, that's how it's changed. Any weird or scary moment traveling because of that? Any weird or scary moments traveling? share with us. No, we're pretty safe. Like we try and stay safe out on the road. You gotta try and stay as safe as possible. It's like you hear horror stories and then you know try and stay as safe as you possibly can do out there, you know. So no we don't have any like scary stories to tell you. I mean it's like, you know people are late. <laughs> Rarely though, now that we're on here, there's not yeah, really no, that's like... True. <laughs> that's, yeah, like, don't have to get hotels out of bed. and uh, hostels, it might be a different story. Yeah, yeah don't have to the like first it. tour, like, huh? like the first tour, yeah, I like think. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's very different now with this. It's great. It's, it's more comfortable. Fun. Both are fun. That, that's the thing, it's like both sides of touring like that are fun, you know. It's just yeah. that because this one's longer, we need to do it in a different style. Mm. Huh? I noticed that the road from Milan to Rome was very bumpy. At night. Yeah. 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 V bumpy. Yeah. That's about, Q bumps. That's about as dangerous as it gets. Q bumps. I used to. Or leaving someone at a service station. Like that's. Oh, that's a big fear of mine. Mm. I don't have a car. I use trains, and it's okay. safe enough. 
this name of the album, Together We Are Stronger, does it represent a message, isn't it? Yeah, Which kind of I think it's, you know, I think when we started this band, you know, the, the whole premise was about us, unity and unification and, and you know, sharing and I think through both, you know, personal exploration and, and, and sort of almost the political, on the political side as well. Um, yeah, it, 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 it signifies who we are and what we believe in, not only as individuals, but also as, as, community. as, a, as a community, as an entity. Okay. <laughs> so, you, I know you guys played music since you were very young. <coughs> so, when music became your dream job? For me, it was always something that I, I can, I so like from since I can remember, I was playing music. I can't remember not, not ever playing music or not ever being around music or like that. And very quickly, it, it, it kind of took over my life and dominated my life. Um, and I loved it. And I can't really imagine doing anything else. It's, it's always been the way for me. I think it's never. I never had a moment where I, it kind of clicked. It was always just made made sense in my head that I loved it, and that's what I was wanted to do yeah I second that yeah I think that's right I mean I think that you know you, you kind of it kind of just if, if it's it's kind of just who you are I think at the end of the day it's I think the moment you decide that this, you want this what you want to do for a job is the moment where you're kind of losing the passion you're losing the drive you're losing why and I think that if you really want to do something in life I think a lot of the times you start doing it very early. I think it becomes. I think it's just ingrained in who you are. There was never anything else that I was going to do apart from perform. I couldn't do anything else. I was shit at everything else. I was terrible at maths. I was terrible at science. I was terrible. At, I wasn't terrible at English. I did okay in English. I kind of liked English because I think it, you know it was good. It was a good subject, and I liked stories. But history, I was okay at. But like academia, it just wasn't my vibe. It wasn't my thing. I just wasn't very good at it. I tried, don't get me wrong, I tried. I tried really hard, but I just... So it's not just a job? No, fuck no, hell no. No, it can never just be just a job. It never has to be, it never should It doesn't be. feel like a job, no. ever. Like, I mean, music, music will always and have to be a part of my life, uh, whether or not it was in performing or listening or consuming it or going to gigs. Uh, it was always going to be there, but it just so happened that the band stuff was there at the same time. So, yeah, it sort of fell into place for me. I love it. And last question. Okay, uh, if your album become some food, which song would you eat and why? What song would I eat? Yeah, from your album. I think Romeo would taste pretty good. Do you think? Yeah, what would Romeo be? Be like a chocolate. No. Be something super like sassy and fresh. It would be like a baked Alaska. It would be <laughs> like a like a chicken Kiev. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not chicken Kiev. Sure. Breaded chicken and then garlic. Butter. Butter. You like smoked salmon with lemon zest and edible flowers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think any of the so I don't think any of, of the horse, songs would be that dainty. Bit of a horseradish cream on the side. Do you love a bit of horseradish? <laughs> beef. I don't eat beef. I'm just getting hungry now. Yeah, I'm kind of hungry. <laughs>